In this video, we're going to focus on adding the bars with the colors on the scale. The scale currently is not perfect. The line here should be on zero, but it's not. And you can see here we have an overlap. We will cover this eventually, but we're going to make sure first that we have the colors and we have the scale values being shown nicely. So let's start with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on adding the colors to the bar. So we're going to work on those. We're going to make sure that we have here the uh, scale labels and we're going to uh, make sure the bar structure is correct. So to do this, we're going to scroll down here into our data sets. And luckily this will be very straightforward. Basically we have here the background color and this part, we can borrow this here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste that in here. And then I realized I put in here the RSI or relative strength index. This should be a, a moving average convergence divergence indicator. So we have this here, but this here works different. The reason why is this value will not be based on the C or the O because we have here these variables. But of course in our uh, MCAD, we don't have that. We only have this variable. So what we're going to compare is basically if this value, and this is very important, this will be always a zero because by default it will start at the very beginning. So I'm going to just put that in there and I maybe just temporarily put this on hold. So just ignore this for now. And we're going to say here, this will based on your momentum or the volume movement. However, I am not an expert in this. So I will just put in some basically fake or fictional data. So I'm going to say this will be, well, let's put this on one and this will be two. And then we're going to have here three. And then we have here again, two, one. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's only ranging between zero to two or minus zero or minus two to two. To two but one or the other. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm going to say here, minus one. This will be minus two. And then we're going to say here, minus one again. So if I save that, refresh, then if I show it here, you can see here now this works well. Of course, you don't see it really correctly in colors. And you can see here the line here, I guess this should be maybe more highlighted. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make sure we have the colors here. Let's do the colors here. Put that in here, and then here, this of course is not dependent on the C or the O, but it will be the S, but we're going to say index zero, and S index zero reference to the zero value here. So if this would be bigger, well, this is, if I'm not mistaken, a red color, and this is a green color. So if I will say this would be smaller or equal to, uh, or, or not even equal. They should not be equal, it should be always difference. So it's smaller than index number one, which is reference to this. So this will be compared to whatever this, or this value will be compared with this. And then with that, we can see here how this goes. Let's save this first and just refresh. And all right, interesting, I get a mistake here. So uh, let's open up the developer tab, what's going on here? All right, S is not defined or cannot be defined, of course. Why is it not defined? Look at this here, I forgot to change this. So if I do this here, most likely it will work because we have already the history of that one. All right, there we are. And you can see here, as we increase, this will show nicely here. And then as it, as it dis decrease, it will show here. And we even have this line here, that is our baseline, which is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so we have this now. Uh, what we should have here as well is the scale value. So I'm going to scroll down. We're just going to check here on the scales. Uh, let's look, scroll down more. We have the scale, the X and the Y. And then we have, this is the one we need. And what we want to do is display the ticks. Should be true. Save, refresh. Then we click on this. There we are. So we get this here. And I do see here, we have to probably figure out this one here. Um, that one we have to see here what we have to do with that because this will be a slight issue. We might move this slightly down or something like that. I will check that in the next video. We're going to solve that specific issue because you can see here the five and the zero are on top of each other or they overlap each other. 